spaces unless you give somebody else the space to do that for you. Um, with that, we also think, uh, you guys like the phone gap guys have been selling this for years, but there's no more single platform strategy. There's no more serious developer that can say, oh, I'm gonna do a great job on Android and that's fine. Or I'm gonna do a great job on iOS only and that I will be a great company in five years. Uh, why is that? Um, the facts are just that Android is eating more and more in of the importance of being a global player and, and how you make money with apps. So it was 75% of the revenues, iOS 25, Android half a year ago. Um, it's already 10% more for Android and that's only in six months. And, and this trend has been so for the last one and a half years or so. Uh, Google is doing a lot of stuff on improving the Android market and you just can see the impact uh, with some help of the fans of Samsung and the other ones, uh, things are picking up. Um, why Android is growing is fairly simple, it's Japan and Korea. That's the reason why this is skewing more and more globally towards Android. Um, an example of a pretty local player here out of the UK, uh, King.com, Candy Crush. Um, you have, this is for my Apple Q stuff, you have in, in uh, uh, the, the blue line is on Android and the pink line is on iOS. These are their daily revenues. So you can see that for these guys in Japan, their daily revenues, iOS and Android are just flipping. Uh, so it's very, very close. So <laughs> companies like those will be forcing equal attention on both platforms or maybe even a bit more uh, on the Android stuff for now. Um, business models, how you make money. Um, there has been a lot of reports in the market, of course, on inner purchases versus one-off fees, and everybody shouts something about that. I'm losing the microphone. Yeah, it's just going out, I guess. Uh, no. Yeah, I think we're back. Are we back? We're back. Um, so about inner purchases. So let's look at how people are actually making money with their apps. Um, this is United States. Uh, green is guys that have the complete freemium model. So give it away and monetize with inner purchases. Uh, blue and red are the other different models, with blue being sell your application for one fee, sort of the old school model, uh, don't charge out afterwards, and uh, red is more um, having a paid application and on top of that sell in a purchases like some of the navigation guys are doing. You pay for the app and then you monetize with buying the cards and stuff like that later on. Um, at this given moment, 86% of iOS is just the freemium model. That's pretty, have uh, rest in itself and pretty telling what you should be doing. Android is a bit more even towards in a purchases. 94% of the revenue just comes from free apps within a purchases. And this is US. Um, let's look at that a bit differently from Japan. That's even a very simple solution what you need to do to make money in those countries. There's, a, there's only one way to go. You can try to, do, to beat all the odds and do it differently, but if you look at the data, if you look at the successful guys that generate substantial revenues with their mobile apps, it's with this model. And specifically in Asia, and Android is pretty funny actually, there's 99% on free within our purchases, there's 1% on paid, and there's even non-existing on paid within our purchases. That model is just nowhere over there. Uh, nobody really uses that if you look at the, the top guys monetizing. Um, number four, there's some Japanese people in the audience I spoke to yesterday, so, so some can read this, some don't. Um, and that's exactly the problem. Um, some can read this, some don't. Um, a couple of years back, you could think about, hey, it might be nice to localize my app. It could give me some extra users, could give me maybe some extra revenues. In a market where the huge chunk is in Asia, where the growth is in Japan and Korea, uh, you have to think about how you're gonna approach the top 10 countries. And not localizing your app in the countries that you're focusing on is just a no-go out of what you could be getting as a developer. Um, I only have one example, but it's pretty, Straightforward, this is Clash of Clans. These are their daily revenues in Japan. So things were going pretty okay with, this is the US version. So it's one global version of the app that was the same everywhere. English language and yeah, okay, they were making some money, that's fine. 
and they were doing a great job anyway in all the different countries, so good for them. And then at the end of June this year, I think the 17th or something, we have a little dot on the graph here, uh, the guys decided to do a full local Japanese version, local language, uh, local app naming, screenshots, descriptions, a whole bunch, and this, oh, this is what happened to their revenues. Uh, the country out of the top of my head, I think it's spiking like ninefold or something. Um, just with a local version. Um, it doesn't mean that everybody with a local version can spike up, but uh, we see so many examples of guys that do this and see a huge direct impact of having that local version present. Um, sort of last finding that we saw is about Amazon App Store. So in a world where Android is more and more important in how you can get revenues as an app player, uh, this is one that we watch really closely. We support it in all our analytics. We, we track the Amazon revenues on a daily basis to see how it will be stacking up in the market. Um, and we think as a company they do interesting stuff. They try to do new stuff in their app stores. They, this is just over the last few months. They introduced Amazon Coins, a virtual currency that maybe can make it a bit easier for consumers to spend money instead of every time really spending money for their feeling. Um, they have a mobile associates API, it's a bit different name, but what, what it basically means is that you can start selling physical goods out, outside of your app, so you have a, uh, a wine app or something, and you can actually send somebody a real wine bottle at home, and you get a bit of revenue back for that. Um, it's all early days, but it's interesting that these guys are trying to figure out new ways for developers to, to make money. Um, and we see that this works a bit as well. So what we did is just took a couple of apps, uh, and compare their revenues between in Ping, Google Play, and exactly the same application in Orange in the Amazon App Store. Uh, so this is Temple Run. These guys do three times the revenue still in Google Play, which is not a big surprise. Google Play is bigger than Amazon. I think everybody uh, can relate to that. Um, but some of the other apps are doing factor two, and this one, the last one, even does more revenue in the Amazon App Store than Google Play, and we see more and more examples of that. Um, the store is not so packed yet, there's different ways that developers can make money, and it's just the same Android application. It, 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 it's though completely tied to uh, where Amazon has devices, so if they don't have the Kindle, it will be slow in that country still. Uh, but this is promising to see at least another decent platform that, that gives Android revenues for developers. Um, I don't think you can really see out of the picture well, but what we see a lot in the when we look at the top listings in Amazon, it's, uh, it's decent players, it's, it's Disney, it's PopCap, and all these big guys are jumping on that, which is a sign in itself. And it's not that Amazon is paying them huge money to get in, um, but these bigger players with successful apps are moving to that platform. Um, yeah, so quick summary, maybe short demo, but I'm running short on time. Um, so, what we, yeah, so what we see in the market is basically think about Asia, really think about that, and when you do that, Think about if you have an app that has the potential to get off in Japan and Korea, and if you want to play that game, think about how you're going to localize that. Um, if you do that, think about how you will go Android and iOS at once and dive in that market um, and have a look at Amazon as well. Ah, I have some time left. Okay, cool. Thanks. Um, so quick demo if that works. I don't think. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is funky. Let's see, is this better? Yeah, right. I think we have some really ugly screen here. Okay, cool. Sorry, guys, see if I can get this off. Resolutions. Oh, this is even worse. Um, quick demo for now, then really short. Um, one question, so this is an example of what a product can do. So we basically show of every single app in the market what it's doing in terms of downloads and revenues. Uh, so to give you guys an example, uh, Netherlands, right now, the top number one on a single day does 8,000 downloads, 88,000 in this sense. Let's see if I can get some revenue figures in without my screen going nuts. Let's see if I can get the resolution a bit better. Uh, let's wait this for now. Yeah, sorry, I cannot show too much. This is going not too many sides, but um, 
what you guys can do if you're interested, we have an awful lot of these different uh, findings and data on our site. We have a monthly free report that goes out every month with a lot of these sort of data snippets on what's going on in the market and how it's changing. Um, our blog contains a lot of this stuff and we have the free analytics that you could use to dive in this your own for your own performance and I'll also to have a look at the competition as well. Um, so unless there's any questions, uh, this was it for now. Thank you guys and have a great day. We did, we did get one question. Um, so question for Vincent, what about ad network revenues? Um, is there, can you, can you uh, contrast AppMobi or ad, ad mob with iAd maybe? <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, so we, we do support that for developers. Uh, to be honest, it's hard for us to estimate that for the market as a whole because basically the ad market is a bit of a mess. It's, yeah. it's if you think mobile, the app source is fragmented, wait until you see how the ad market is looking. Um, there are some reports, however, that says the ad market is around 13 to 14 percent of the total revenues. Uh -huh. So 13 to 14, and then it's completely distributed by all the different players. <laughs> so iAd is big in UK and US. Uh, in Mobi is way bigger in a Asia, and basically a lot of developers use 10 or more different networks to wiggle that. Um, so it's pretty hard to say something. Somebody here should build a phone gap for ad networks. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was great. So next up, we've got Greg Avola from Untap, one of my uh, favorite apps of all time. So Greg.